What is up everyone? It is I, back again with some more Keyforge Age of Ascension goodness. Uh, so I'm just trying to finish off this box here. Uh, I did pick up, as you can see, a two-player starter set, which has two new decks in it, so I will be opening that sometime in the future. Stay tuned. Uh, but for the meantime, we're going to finish off this box. We just have three decks left on the middle, on the back, or in the bottom row, so I'm going to pick the middle one there. That's what I was trying to say. All right. So without further ado, a tiny shake for good luck. Flip this guy open and crack it open, like usual. All right. So what am I hoping to get in this one? Um, probably, you know what, I, I'm liking, uh, I really like Mars, I really like Sanctum, I really like Dis. Uh, maybe, maybe I get those three, who knows? Okay, so, so far, we have the name. It is Bat Gopher. <laughs> what? Bat Gopher Moro Ferrari Ludite. Oh, what? I got Ferrari in the name. That's pretty cool. Bat Gopher Moro Ferrari. Bat Gopher Moro Ferrari Ludite. Maybe it's uh, meant to be said with an accent. It does look like it is a yellow background. Nice Archon there. Looks very angelic and looks like it has a bowl for a head. Very interesting. And we got Shadows, Logos, and Untamed. Though I literally didn't say a single of the houses that we got. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty rare to do. I said Sanctum, Mars, uh, what did I say again? Sanctum, Bro I don't know, Brodner? Anyways, without further ado, let's get right on into it. So Shadows is cool. Um, Untamed is one of my favorite factions, so I'm always happy to see Untamed in my decks. And uh, Logos is really, really, really cool. Uh, they have the potential... Uh, to get some really game-breaking stuff. I saw someone got this really cool artifact called Redacted. That'd be really cool if I got a Redacted. Uh, so let's put the code card on the ground. And let's go back to front, because if you guys didn't know, going back to front means you're going commons to rares, uh, which I really like. I think that's really smart. But again, if you guys hate that, let me know. Starting off with Logos, we have a really cool creature I've seen you before. Two Power Archimedes. This is a cyborg beast with elusive, uh, with a passive effect. Each of Archimedes' neighbors gains destroyed archive this creature. So this is actually really amazing. It's kind of like a biomatrix backup, but in a creature and a persistent effect with elusive. That's actually really, really, really good. Now that I think about it, this card's really, really, really good. Uh, as long as Archimedes doesn't get targeted, of course. We have a Hexpion, very, very nice creature. This is an AI, a uh, new kind of um, type of creature, with destroyed Archive, Hexpion, and the top card of your deck. So this guy doesn't exactly combo with Archimedes because it already archives itself, but, uh, you know, that's totally fine. That guy archives itself and another card on the top of the deck. We got Poke. It's an action, an amber when you play it. Play, deal one damage to an enemy creature. If this damage destroys the creature, draw a card. So, a uh, decent card. It's not the most powerful card, of course. It only does one damage. Uh, but you know what? Having just that one damage, direct damage, to an enemy creature is is always good to have. You know, there there's a lot of annoying one-power creatures out there. I've seen a lot of them, and I wouldn't mind killing them. Ooh, so this is a board clear, I believe. Standardized testing action. Play, destroy each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, um, sometimes we... Uh, our, our creatures will have destroyed archive them, so sometimes it's okay if we destroy our own creatures too. Um, of course, we can try and plan around this and try and make sure it only hits our opponents. We have a Titan Librarian 4 power creature, Cyborg Scientist, at the end of your turn. If Titan Librarian is not on a flank, archive a card. More archiving. Always good to see more archiving in Logos. Now let's see if we can get some kind of action uh, that benefits from all of our archiving cards. Ooh, a nice wild wormhole. Now, I haven't drawn this one yet in the whole box, uh, and I love the artwork on this, of course. Gives you an amber when you play it, and it says it's an action that just says play. Uh, play the top card of your deck. Doesn't matter what that card is, you have to play it. Very cool. Okay, this is a two-power uh, ZYX researcher, human scientist. Play. Archive the top card of your deck or the top card of your discard pile. Ooh, really, really nice to archive the top card of your discard pile. Um, so I did see 
Uh, somebody opened this actually, now that I remember, now that I've seen it, now that I, I remember it. Someone opened this and mentioned, which is actually really good, that you can't change the order of your discard pile. So this actually kind of matters. Like if you look at someone's discard pile, you can't shuffle it around because like it says specifically the top card of your discard pile, right? So, uh, you know, there you go. If something discards cards from your hand, by the way, you can just uh, archive it right away. So that's kind of cool. Interesting card there. Oh, we got backup copy. So this is an upgrade, Amber, when you play it. This creature gains destroyed. Put this creature on top of your deck. So interesting. We have a lot of things that like either destroy, get archived, and then this one's like destroy, put this creature on top of your deck. Maybe I'll put this upgrade on a different, on a different faction, on a different house, you know, on a different creature. Uh, but always a good card. It's not exactly as good as Biomatrix Backup, but it's almost as good. So it's good to see. Another creature, two power jar goggle here, beast mutant with elusive. Uh, it says play, put a card from your hand face down under jar goggle. Destroyed, if it's your turn, play the card under jar goggle, otherwise archive that card. So again, more archiving, and this is a good way to cheat a card off house. As long as you can destroy gar jar goggle, you can play a card off house. So that's really cool. Uh, we have ways to kill this guy off on our own turn. Um, so if we can do that, then we can somehow get a phase shift off uh, with this guy. Really, really cool. Ah, Seismo Entangler. Very nice artwork. Always beautiful. Always great. Love to see it. So it's an artifact that says, Action. Choose a house. During your opponent's next turn, creatures of that chosen house cannot be used to reap. Absolutely amazing. Super oppressive. I'm going to be wanting to choose Logos as much as I can if this is out there. Uh, just to mess with our opponent. Really, really awesome artifact. Glad to see it. We got Crazy Killing Machine. This will be a rare artifact. Uh, very cool. This is from the previous set, I believe. Uh, it's a weapon. It says, Action. Discard the top card of each player's deck. For each of those cards, destroy a creature or artifact of that card's house, if able. If two cards are not destroyed as a result of this, destroy Crazy Killing Machine. Ooh... Oh, so they both have to work, eh? Hey? So you reveal two cards, or sorry, you discard the top card of each player's deck. So you're discarding two cards total, and then for each of those cards, destroy a creature or artifact of that card's house, if able. So just one per. Uh, so you have to be able to kill one from each player, essentially. Interesting card. Very interesting. Kind of fair. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but it's okay. <gasps> we got a Maverick! Whoa, this is so cool. I've never opened a Maverick ever. Wow, that is so special. So this is normally an Untamed, uh, which isn't the craziest Maverick in the world because we do have Untamed in this deck, but wow. So this is really cool. This is a Cobra creature, and it, it, it you know what? It looks really good as a Logos card. Looks really good as a Logos card because it is blue. It is obviously green, lots of green in the background, so it obviously looks really good as an Untamed card, but it does have a fair bit of blue, and it really pops with the blue of Logo, so that is amazing. Wow, first Maverick ever. Really, really amazing. So it has Assault 3 and Hazardous 3. Really cool. You can use this for defense or for offense. Really good attacker, really good uh, defender as well. Really awesome card. Wow. First Maverick ever. Awesome. I wonder if, that's a, if they put Mavericks at the very beginning. Yeah, they must be, because it went rare and then Maverick. Yeah, so Mavericks would be ahead of rares. Uh, that, I approve of that decision. All right, we got a bad penny. Oh, we got a bad penny. That's a... Dude, that's bad penny's fault, I swear. I swear that's that's bad penny's fault. All right, bad penny. Uh, you're going to have to apologize to the, to the viewers. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. All right, so this guy's destroyed. Return bad penny to your hand. So this is good if you have stuff that says... Sacrifice a friendly creature to deal a bunch of damage, that sort of thing. So, Bad, bad Penny's good if you have the right combo pieces. Let's hope we do. Dusk Chronicles. So this is an action, Amber, when you play it. Play. If your opponent has more Amber than you, draw a card. If you have more Amber than your opponent, archive a card. Just uh, be careful that you don't have the same amount of Amber as your opponent, because then I, I believe nothing really happens. So, Interesting. Knuckles Bolton, very cool card. So it's three power with elusive and skirmish. So again, one of those flexible cards, you can use it for fighting or for reaping, essentially. And it's kind of a jack of all trades, can do everything. Just like 
the Fanghorn guy. My Maverick card. Life for life! That's what I want to see. Perfect action to see with Bad Penny. So this is an action uh, that gives you an amber when you play it. And it says, play, sacrifice a creature to deal six damage to a creature. Six damage is pretty much guaranteed to kill it unless it's... Um, I mean, unless it has excessive amounts of armor or it's just one of those massive creatures. So life for a life will kill most things. Really good. Uh, we got Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Two power creature. Elf Thief. Play. Steal one. If your opponent has seven or more, steal two instead. What? This guy's broken. All right, glad to see a Ronnie Wrist Clocks in this Shadows deck. This guy's definitely worth it. He doesn't have Elusive, he doesn't have Skirmish, he doesn't have anything uh, except for a play effect. So we're going to want to revive this guy and play him multiple times, I guess, right? We're going to Maybe we can get multiples of these? Wow, really, really good card, guys. Steal two Amber, pretty much. That's amazing. Oh, we got Swindle. So this is a good action as well. Alpha Omega. So that's a little bit bad. I don't like seeing Alpha Omega, right? That just means you can't do anything else. But it is play, steal three amber. So that's really good. Even if you have more amber than your opponent, you can still steal three. So lots of stealing in this shadow. It's good to see. Yancy Gang, very nice. Five power, Elf Thief, with an action, steal one. Again, uh, amazing card and good to steal. Really like stealing. Another Yancy Gang. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Hopefully we can get more than two. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. Come on. Can we get more than two Yancy Gangs? Because stealing one is a really good action. Oh, of course. Uh, so we have a Ubelet, an action from the previous set. It says play, purge a creature with power three or lower. Uh, so this is really good. You're obviously not going to want to target your own guys. But, um, but you probably could if you wanted to. But I don't know why you would want to. Um, it's really good for getting rid of those uh, annoying creatures that are small. And you can get rid of them for the whole game. So... Really, really good uh, to see a Purge card, actually. Oh, we got two of those. So that's pretty good. Uh, straight up removal, like hard removal for three or lower creatures and just purge them. Really, really cool. Uh, okay, I've seen this one as well. This is um, an action. Uh, this is the Judge card. So it gives you an action, uh, Amber when you play it, and it says play. If you have more Amber than your opponent, they discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card. Ah, so this is really good in Shadows, actually. I didn't realize, but this is really good with cards that steal stuff. Because uh, you can make it so that you have more than your opponent really easily with a quick steal. So really good. Really good card. And it's card advantage. They discard a random card and you draw a card. Really, really powerful. And we got Heist Knight. Ooh, action. Alpha. Okay. And it says play. Steal one for each friendly thief creature. That's a massive steal if we have lots of thieves out. Holy moly, we're going to have to go back and see how many thieves we have. <laughs> nice. All right. Shadows is looking good. This deck is looking pretty fantastic. All right, well, uh, that is the end of Shadows. We are now on to... Um, we're on to Untamed with a Dusk Witch. A really cool card. One power only. Human Witch. Omega. After you play this card, end this step. Okay. Elusive as well. Oh, and it says your creatures enter play ready. Oh, wow. This is like a speed sigil, but only for us, not for our opponents. And of course, oh, of course it has Omega. So we have to end our turn. So it gives, a, it gives our opponent a whole turn to deal with this. I guess the only thing it has going for it is it has Elusive. So it can kind of withstand one fight. Ah, wow, what a powerful card. I just wish we can um, take advantage of this somehow. Maybe a good first turn play, actually. Really good first turn play. Wow, really cool. Really, really cool card. Whoa, we got another one. Okay, so we can't play two at the same time because once we play one, our turn's over. But having two is uh, is interesting. Really, really good. Uh, we could just play a bunch of Untamed guys and then just end our turn with Dusk Witch. You know, we can do that a couple times in a row. And uh, that's really, really cool. That's like two speed sigils, but only for us. Another one power creature. Wow. Uh, so this guy's Glimmer. I really like this guy, actually. It has Alpha this time. So we got some Alpha. We got some Omega. Play. Return a card from your discard pile to your hand. Amazing. Really, really amazing card. It's like a regrowth and a minion all in one. 
Growth Keeper. What is this card? It's a three power human witch. Oh, human witches are really powerful. What, is he, what do you do? At the end of your turn, give each neighboring creature a plus one power counter. No way! At the end of your turn, you give each neighboring creature a plus one power counter permanently. So you can keep doing this and you can keep stacking this if they just if you keep protecting it. Wow, this is a really good card to revive with Glimmer as well. Really, really cool card. Grove Keeper. Nice. This is why I love Untamed. They just, oh man, they have some of the best cards in my opinion. Like Nox. Like, look at this. Who could not like Nox? Starts off as a three power, but if it's got a couple friends, it can go up to a six or a nine power. Gets plus three power for each neighbor. Oh man. I, I love I love this deck already. I love a bat gopher. Another Nox. Whoa. Awesome. I love creatures. Creatures are amazing. And all of these creatures are going to be uh, ready right away, probably. Honestly. All of these untamed creatures are going to be ready right away. What is this? Look at all the squirrels. They're so cute. Marmo Swarm. It's a beast. Marmo Swarm gets plus one power for each amber in your pool. Ooh. Really cool. So they start off as two power, but they can really get up there in power. They can, like, what if you have plus five? Yeah, they can easily be a seven power. Like, they can be pretty decently strong, this guy. Really cool. Nice Marmo, nice Marmo Swarm. Really good. And we can permanently buff that as well. We got a regrowth. Okay, so we have the Glimmer and a regrowth. Oh, and we could regrowth the Glimmer to regrowth another minion. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, I love regrowth. So it gives you an amber when you play it. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. And, of course, if you return untamed, you can play it right away. So good. Song of Spring, another brand new card I haven't seen the artwork for, and it looks amazing. Look at that. Looks like we got some snakes and some other creatures, like a frog lizard. And it looks like a Japanese cherry blossom tree or something. So it gives you an amber when you play it. It's an action. Play. Shuffle any number of friendly untamed creatures from your hand, discard pile, or battle line back into your deck. Ooh. Interesting. So this is kind of like a... What do you call it? Um, it's, it's not an Arise, but the new Arise that's in Dis. I don't know what that's, card, that's called. But essentially, yeah, you can shuffle all creatures, but only from Untamed, from your hand, discard pile, or battle line into your deck. Really cool. I don't know why you would want to do it from your battle line or your hand, though. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, but hey, uh, it, it does say or, so you don't have to do it. And I would probably just do it from discard pile, uh, except for the regrowths and stuff. It doesn't really have super good synergy with the regrowthing stuff if things are in the discard pile. Interesting card, though. It does, uh, it does intrigue me, and I probably will use its effect at least for one or two creatures. We got They're Everywhere, really good damage spell. Uh, so it's an action that says gain an amber when you play it. Deal two damage to each flank creature. One damage to each enemy creature not on a flank. So this doesn't damage yourself at all. Uh, it, it only affects enemies. Two damage to each enemy flank. One damage to each enemy creature not on a flank. So really, really good. It's a huge board clear for little guys. And uh, damages the guys on the edge a little bit too. Alright, last two cards. Will we have any rares in Untamed? We got Pampaka Jaga. Ooh, really good card. This guy gives everybody skirmish to the left on the, of, of Pampaka Jaga on the battle line. And him himself has skirmish. And it's three power as well. Really good, because we have a lot of guys. And if we can buff every all of our guys as well, we're going to have a huge line of untamed creatures. Really good to see. And the last card, will we have a rare? Do we have a rare? We do have a rare. It's called Earthbind. Weird artwork. Very weird. You are... Oh, it, it sinks a creature into the ground? Cool. All right, so it's an upgrade, and it says, uh, gain an amber when you play it. This creature cannot be used unless its controller has discarded a card this turn. Ooh. So it's, um, it's a card that you play on your opponent's creature. Really strange. It's, um... It's like a permanent effect, and it... it it's really annoying, I guess, because you have to discard a card. And you can only discard a card from the same house you're playing. So yeah, you don't all you're not always discarding cards. This is pretty annoying. So you'd play this on your opponent's creature and then hopefully they don't use it very much. 
Wow, and that was the last card there. So overall, I'm super excited to, to see this deck in action. It's got a bunch of creatures. <sighs> yeah, just a whole whack of creatures in Untamed. So if you can see here, we have Earthbind. Nice upgrade there. We got Papaka Java, Marmor Swarm, awesome squirrels. We got two Nox. Grove Keeper, really good for buffing. A Glimmer, really amazing. And two Dusk Witches, which is going to make all these guys enter play ready, potentially. Wow, really cool. We got There Everywhere, good board clear. Song of Spring, I don't know, good reshuffling and stuff. And Regrowth, really, really good with uh, Glimmer. Heist Knight, all right. So now we got to figure out how many Thieve creatures we have. So this is really, really cool. Al alpha card. Steal one for each friendly thief creature. So it balances it on alpha. You can't play a bunch of thief creatures and then steal. They have to be alive from last time. Uh, this is good if we have lots of steel, which we do have lots of steel. We got two purges for creatures that are low power. So that's interesting. We got two Yancey gangs. I really like that. Stealing one, amazing. We got Swindle, really good steal three. Ronnie Risk Clocks, two power, but he can steal two potentially. Really cool card. Life for a life, really good with Bad Penny. We do have one Bad Penny, so that's good. Good direct damage. Knuckles Bolton, he can do anything. This is a Thief. Oh, have we counted our Thieves yet? I forgot about the Thief counting. So we've got two Yanty Gangs. Those are two Thieves. Boom, boom, two Thieves. This guy's a Thief as well. That's number three. This guy's a Thief. That's number four. We got Dust Chronicles, and then, of course, we have Bad Penny, who is a Thief. So that's quite a few Thieves. That's like five Thieves. You could potentially steal five. Really, really good. Dusk, and, and Bad Penny's good for that card, because Bad Penny will always be on the field kind of thing, usually, or maybe not. Maybe they'll ignore it and not kill it, you know? Uh, this is really good. We can draw a card, or we can archive a card. Um, and yeah, really good Shadows faction there. Uh, so let's put our Untamed aside, and let's quickly organize all of this craziness. There we go. It's done. No, we haven't, ha we haven't seen a single artifact uh, yet in these two that we've done the recap on. We have artifacts here, obviously, but, and we have a crazy cool Maverick. Oh man, I've never had a Maverick before. We got a nice upgrade, got a nice action here. Uh, another dude, another action, action, more dudes. All right, so we have two artifacts in the whole deck and they're both in Logos. We have decent amount of creatures, actually. I didn't think we did, but we have Fang House, Jar Goggle, the Researcher, Librarian, and Hex, Hexbeon, and Archimedes. So all different creatures there. Pretty nice array of uh, creatures. So six there. We do have a backup copy, so that's kind of like a seventh minion. Crazy Killing Machine, very interesting action. I don't know if I'm going to actually be doing that uh, to kill stuff, but hey, interesting. Size 1 Tangler, super annoying. Good board clear, destroy each creature with the lowest power, each with the highest power. So, uh, you know, situational. Nice poke, uh, destroy a little guy, draw a card, and wild wormhole could be anything. So I don't think we have too many crazy things that we're going to wild wormhole by accident. Uh, like there's no uh, gateway to disc that we're accidentally going to kill all of our creatures. Uh, there's nothing like that. I'm just looking for those really quickly. Maybe a life for a life if we accidentally do that. You know, we can accidentally s sacrifice a bad creature. Or maybe we might accidentally purge a creature with power 3 or lower, and we might be forced to choose ourself. Or maybe we, we draw the upgrade and we have to put it on ourself. So basically just don't wild wormhole unless there's enemies, because that's the only thing that's going to mess us up. But wow, dudes, that is just, that is my first Maverick. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm just static. Look at that. Look at that. That's proof. We got the Maverick right there. Fang House. Amazing. So in this, we got three rares and a Maverick. So pretty standard rare count. No crazy amount of rares in here, but we did get one rare in each house. So that's kind of nice. My Untamed is pretty nuts. It's got two Dusk Witch in it, uh, which is really crazy. Dusk, Dusk Witch. It's got a Grove Keeper as well. Grove Keeper is super cool. And it's got the Marmo Swarm for the cute factor. Wow. And Shadows is is out of uh, out of the park as well. Knocked it out of the park. It's got Heist Knight, which is a really cool rare. It's got two Yancey Gang. It's got a Swindle and a Ronnie Risk Clocks. And a Bad Penny with Life for a Life, which is pretty good. So overall, guys, I hope you liked it. 
This has been Bat Gopher Moreau Ferrari Ludite. <laughs> really cool deck. And uh, leave a like for that Maverick, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one where we will finish off the last two decks. Uh, see you guys next time. And I wish you guys the best of luck with your openings in the future. Ciao for now.